were cutting through the air. There was beauty. There was death. There was skill. And then there was the soundtrack. Which today is back. Listening to here is a 46-litre BMW V12, an engine that was originally used to power the Heinkel HE 111 bomber. Only as you can see here, it's being used now to power a car. A car they call the Brutus. Well, when I say car, the chassis is actually taken from a 1907 New York fire engine. The chain drive from a machine the devil uses to rotisserie those who displease him. And the brakes, well, they exist only really in the imagination of the madman who built this thing. A man so mad, he's going to let me take his extraordinary creation for a spin. First, you pull on the fuel pumps. These are these two Silver buttons ones, yeah. above the ignition. Yeah. Then you have to pull out this button. What's that one? This is the decompression. Oh, Christ, yeah. right. Really a long one. And way. then you have to start with the black button. A little gas. of my problems. Oh, there's so much torque and so little grip for the rear wheels. If you even go near the throttle, you get massive wheel spin. You slip it back. Oh, this is so complicated. All oh, the controls on the outside of the car and the pedals are all the way round. So I'm trying to do a crossword puzzle. Are oh, you being eaten by a tiger? Nothing, no. That's what usually the brain says, they don't work. Turn! Turn, you brute! No, that's not the panel. No, that's all. Yes, that's the drop. All's good. Basically, this is Sodom and Gomorrah with a steering wheel. That's what it is. Plainly, then, putting an aeroplane engine in a car is idiotic. Or is it? To the casual observer, this looks like a 20s Bentley. A car that won Le Mans four times. A car a Tory Bugatti called the fastest lorry in the world. <laughs> <laughs> 